So obviously you get taken on. So so you know, James has mentioned it before. This the YTS um, scholarship period. It really is the a, a pivotal moment in a young footballer's. Um, career, yeah, that's decision time. That's decision that's time, decision really, time. and that's when people start to get a feel for whether or not they're going to be make, yeah, look, you know, pursuing football as a professional career, yep. or like 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 your friend having to pursue yeah, other, other other avenues. Um, so then you go into full time, mm-hmm. um, with with Chelsea, yeah. But, but Steve before, Clark was our coach. <laughs> but, but before that, let, let, I, I'm just trying to get this this timeline mm. co- correct. Um, oh, y- your father passed away. Yeah. Are you are you still a schoolboy at this point? Actually, no. Um, so we got YTS. Our dad was still around, uh, still alive at this time. Right. It was actually a year and a half, maybe, when we became scholars. Into so your scholarship. It, he was actually uh, he actually got actually I think when we got off just after we got YTS, uh, our scholarship, our yeah. young pros. Um, our dad was diagnosed with. That's cancer. right. Yeah. So at that time, so it was a kind of a tricky time. But yeah. I'll be honest. Uh, Chelsea Football Club were, were fantastic in supporting me and my brother. They actually, the coaches would arrange pickups for me and my brother because we couldn't drive yet. Right. Still learning to drive. Yeah. Uh, Steve Clark would bring us, like, actually drive me home from training. Steve really? Clark, the football coach. <laughs> but, and I mean, and he, no, he was great. It's one where he would talk, he goes, uh, you learning to drive, James? I went, yeah. And he was like, yeah, it's just like football practice. And he's right. It's They were so supportive. Like They would they would do whatever they could mm. to help you make it. As a as a footballer, like they would really do anything. Like and I've, with anyone, if they see if you've got the right attitude and like they really want you to do well, they don't want to see anyone fall fall out fall out, fall out that fall off the ladder. And, and, and what, your dad was diagnosed with uh, lung cancer. Lung cancer. Lung cancer. And yeah. It was because um, what was he doing? What was what was his job in? Um, he was a chartered accountant. Yeah. For a company in London, uh, very handled the books of Boy George, uh, Mariah Carey. Uh, the band Prodigy, like yeah. stuff like that. So he worked oh. on those accounts, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we we're really impressed. And yeah, it's when, when you say the accountant, I, I have the images of um, Ben Affleck <laughs> you know, in, in, in the movie. <laughs> yeah. no, not the sniper. No, okay. okay. He went like that, uh, but yeah, it was great. So now and then, me and my brother would go into the office with our dad, see him yeah. in action. And it was really impressive. Yeah, like, yeah. So yeah, obviously a serious career, and, and, and feels yeah. feels quite numbers. Oh, number yeah. oriented isn't it yeah, yeah. I mean, so we, well, we actually sure. be honest math was our strong subject oh, was it really, in school yeah? yeah we're actually in the top grade for that one it's, in the, it's in, in the genes, genes. Yeah. it's in the genes nah not so our little sister she'll disagree she's like <laughs> I, I hate math went, no that's the fun part <laughs> no. oh really uh, yeah okay. so yeah that's what's in what we do so and, and he battled with cancer for for a uh, yeah. year and a maybe, maybe two years two actually years. because um, but there was a time when we thought it was gone but I think it came back yeah. and it was we were given the news that I think the doctors told our dad, and me and my brother are still like trying to process it as well. Yeah, our of course. Was like, how did it affect you on the field? It was uh, no, um, maybe at home it affected me, being right. honest. But football was that your respite? I, yeah, football. I just that would take my mind off it yeah. because you're surrounded by the people and you just talk football, and it, that's what's great. What, what I appreciate about the sport. One of the things I appreciate about the sport that just it takes you away, out, takes you out of it, and takes you forget about those sort of things. And I mean, they sort of developed that attitude where you just got to get on with life. There's nothing, if by thinking about it, there's nothing you can but, do about but, it. Yeah, but the thing is, they're so tight knit as a, as a family. Mm. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, you, you have football, but you also have this very you know, close relationship no, with, with you know, your sister and, yep. and your mom before. Mm, yeah. She was so hands on. Yeah. And, 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 and probably that's, uh, you know, the player you are now. And, uh, yeah. And the person you are. No, exactly. That's why I, I, I've, I've watched inspirational talks lately, and the ones about the U.S. The girl won USA, and she talks about how she kept losing at the, the six pageants in a, six years mm. in a row before she came became Miss yeah. USA. And she says she thinks that time was perfect for her because she wouldn't be the person she is without those times. So I think, like, I think that you're right. It's the person you're molded today is what's happened in your past. So yeah, it's, it's great that we have had that family bond and. That's why, going back to our earlier discussion mm-hmm. about w- how we react to certain things, that's because of what our past upbringing has been. Yeah. Salamat po for watching Across the Line. If you want to catch the entire episode, you can check us out on YouTube. And also, you can download the episode on Spotify, Google Podcasts, and an Apple Podcasts.